everybody. Thank you for tuning in to our live broadcast here at Zappos.com. I am Paul Davy Romano, one of the styling editors here at Zappos. I'm with uh, Kristen Cavallari. Uh, she is known as a mother, an author, a jewelry designer, and a shoe designer, and also a reality TV star. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kristen. Thank How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Good. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, are you a little tired from the trip? Because I heard you came in last night, right? I did. I did. Yeah. Vegas is not quite the same when you're pregnant. You know, I got no. here, I went to bed, I was probably the first one up this morning in Vegas. <laughs> People were just going to sleep, so it's a little different. Oh, yeah? No gambling, no slots? No, no not no, this time? No, I'm so boring. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, and then for those of you who are watching, um, we are doing a live stream here. Um, so if you wanted to join in on the conversation and ask Kristen some questions, you can do so by doing hashtag Ask Kristen um, on any of the social media platforms. And here, our team will try to cipher through all those questions and get to as many of them as we can. Is that cool with you? Sounds good you to wanna me. Want to dive right into it? Let's do it. All righty, let's do it. <laughs> um, so Kristen, so um, Casey Peril is asking, what is your favorite shoe, shoe color for the fall uh, to, to transition from day to night? Um, so my favorite shoe for the fall, I'd have to say, is my Charm Fringe Booty. It's this black booty right black here. Black one up there? Oh, cool. I personally love it in the ginger color. It's this brown color. Yes, this one? exactly. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but... Yeah, yeah. that brown color right there. Um, because you can wear it during the day and easily just, you know, take off your blazer or whatever you have on, throw on some great jewelry, and then wear it into the night. And it's, oh, awesome. It's, yeah, very easy. Yeah, it's super cool. And yeah. fringe is super trendy right now, right? It's, I'd say the I mean, number it, one trend for fall. You're yes. wearing it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, another question. So at K Bed Housing 8 uh, what is your go-to <laughs> booties or high boots for the fall? Mm, it's tough to choose between booties and boots. I mean, yeah. I... I guess if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, it would be a booty. But I think fall, I love boots. I mean, that's oh, yeah. uh, fall fashion is my favorite. Even for guys, too. Like, Even, yeah, absolutely. You have more options, and it's just, it's way more fun to dress up and dress down. Exactly. And you can yeah. layer, and you can throw on, you know, your boots and a hat and a scarf, and you just look so chic yeah. and so great. Now, do you do, because I know, like, socks and sandals are kind of a trend, which is, I, I do not understand it at all. I don't get it either. I get it for like high fashion and like editorials and stuff, but like for everyday wear, no. No. Are you like, because I do the boot, like when I do a boot, I do the boot and I do like a sock and I cover up my pant a little bit to show that. Love that. Is that still like, could uh, girls do that too? Yeah, well like I have uh, my Hunter rain boots. Oh, I think yeah. this is sort of what you're talking about, but you you can buy like the little sock Sleeves, oh yeah, like I the guess. fleece linings. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. They, you can roll them over the top. Oh yeah. And I love that look with some tights or some leggings in the winter. I think it's a great look. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I can't do the socks with the sandals. No. I've even seen women wearing socks with heels, uh, like a pump, yeah. and I just can't get on board it's with that. It's no. I mean, it looks cool in a photo, Cute for a but girl. like, yeah. <laughs> But I will say, it. like, you have Birkenstocks on. Yes, I do. That's one trend that I was like, there's no way. When it first started coming back, I was like, absolutely not. I will never buy a pair of Birkenstocks. Uh -huh. And then a few months ago, I bought a pair, and I'm obsessed. Right. And I wear them all the time, and they're, they're so freaking comfortable. They're so comfortable. <laughs> and for being pregnant, my back hurts all the time. Oh, okay. And I okay. literally, I wear them around my house because it helps with my back pain. Oh, I'm does it? I'm obsessed with my Birkenstocks. Oh, so there you go. That's yeah. like a, some tips and tricks for you guys yeah, at there home. there you go. If you're pregnant, buy a pair of Birkenstocks. Just buy some Birks. You can yeah. get them at Zappos.com. That's I mean, where I got have, mine. Or, <laughs> is it really? Honest, I swear to God, it really is, yeah. <laughs> Convinced. Uh, what style? Is it like the classic two-strap style? I or have, is it? yeah, those, but in white. And oh, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I wear them all the time. I oh, feel I felt like white was perfect for summer. Yes. So now will you get a pair for fall? Probably not. I think no? one, I think one, one pair is enough. where I'm going to draw the line. You're not going to yeah. push yourself too much? Yeah, I'm yeah. shocked I even bought one pair. <laughs> and Jay, my husband, still Does he have a pair? No, God, he made so much fun of me. You guys were, are you a croc family? We are not a Crocs no. family. I will say okay. we do have a baby, a little blue baby pair, but we didn't buy them. I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law bought them, but yeah. um, Jackson, my little guy, loves them. Yeah, like my niece too. I so, mean, the Crocs all day, every day. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but no, oh, well. I won't be rocking any Crocs anytime no. soon. You won't like Sorry. bedazzle them either? No. <laughs> I can't say I will. Can't say no. No. Um, <laughs> let's move on to the next question. Um, at Caitlin Pauls. What style secret do you have for any new mom uh, to look and feel good right after the baby? Oh, right after the baby. That's got to be tough. That's tough because you yeah. don't feel so hot right after You're the exhausted. baby. Yeah. I mean, I like hibernating. That's basically what I do oh, yeah. for the first couple months. Um, I breastfeed, so I literally sit at home in a, in a nursing <laughs> bra or nursing tank top and leggings and call it a day. You I don't care what I look like. No. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, you're so sleep deprived yeah. and. It just is what it is. But I think, you know, once you can start getting some energy back after, you know, a few weeks, um, I loved, well, first of all, Spanx. 
it helps oh, a lot for sucking yeah. you in. Because uh-huh. no matter what, I mean, even if you gain 15 pounds or 45 pounds, your stomach feels like jello right yeah. after you have a baby. It's the weirdest feeling. Uh-huh. And so um, I think anyone would sort of want that extra support on your stomach. Oh, yeah. And then loose dresses, like even what I have on right now. Which is cute, by yeah, the way. Yeah, shift dress. Thank you. Yeah. Um, any Anything like that, I think, just makes you feel really comfortable. Oh, nice. And yeah. maybe play up your big breastfeeding boobies. You know? <laughs> play up your assets. Right? Something. Yeah. yeah. But no, you, like you said, like you are exhausted. I mean, you are going to be a mother of three. Yeah. So, I mean, how, like, it's that's a lot to juggle. <laughs> I'm a little yeah. nervous for three, to are be you? honest. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Do you nervous. think it's going to get easier like having the third or do you think it'll be difficult struggles that will be a little bit different i think the beginning is going to be tough mm-hmm. only because um i'm having i'm due in november and so jay will be in the full swing of the football season uh. and because like i just said i'll be breastfeeding mm-hmm. i think it's going to be hard on jackson my second one he's okay. such a mama's boy oh is he and it'll be hard for me to have a baby latched on and he's going to be wanting a lot of attention and you can't and he doesn't yeah. he's a little too young still to really understand what's going on yeah. so i'm a little nervous for him and how do you think the older one he's going to be it? great cameron yeah. will be great he's so excited to have a little sister oh, yeah um yeah he talks about it all the time and he'll help out i mean he's only three so he can only help out so much, so much. but yeah. he will as much as he can oh, yeah. and, and um and he's a really Really good kids, so I know that he'll sort of have to watch Jackson <laughs> for me because Jackson's, yeah, more, the the, side, play Jackson's with more the wild, rebellious kid, and he's uh, climbing on things, putting everything in his mouth. It's so like it's the middle be child syndrome. One hundred percent. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I know he is one hundred percent the middle child. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, well, you got to have one at one time. Oh yeah, yeah. he's our wild man. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's see what Yeri Berry asked. Uh, what does your shoe collection offer that others don't? That's a good one. That is a good question. Um, well. Every collection that I do is very trendy Mm -hmm. and it's affordable. Um, You know, I think it's important for women to know that you don't have to spend a fortune to look and feel great. Um, I also love every shoe that I put out there. I mean, I really wear my shoes. So Um, that's the difference. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, most designers are like, oh, I'm going to design a shoe. But then, and then you I'll never wear it. They'll never see you wearing them, but you wear them. I do. Like on your Instagram feed and on your Twitter, you see photos of you in these shoes every day, wear and tear. Yeah. Which is awesome. I do. I mean, you know, it, it makes it fun for me. I'm designing yeah. shoes that I love, and so I want to wear them. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'm a big believer in my own line. I'm proud of my line, and so I don't know. I'm sure every designer would say that too, but oh, I, yeah. I really do wear my shoes. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then, about your shoes. So it's partnered with Chinese Laundry. Yeah. Um, and this is how many collections have you done with them? Oh my God, how many collections? A lot. It's yeah. been over three years. Wow. So, um, and we do, we started off doing just a couple collections a year, and now we've sort of found that the buyer really likes new shoes every few months. Okay. So we have new styles mm. come out every every like three to four months, I'd say. Okay. So instead of like a fall collection and a spring collection, it's more like fall. Then we have some holiday. You have the yeah, spring. Yeah summer like pre-summer, pre-summer. And, you know, summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and so so you never get bored there's always new styles coming out and it makes it really exciting for me yeah and also the customers awesome now yeah. did you ever think like growing up you're like one day I'm gonna be a shoe designer <laughs> like how like it was always a dream really? I never okay. thought it was a realistic dream just yeah. be, you know I mean I grew up in Colorado and Chicago and you know the entertainment world and the designing world was never something on my radar and so yeah I mean of course I would have said I wanted a shoe line but I didn't think it was realistic but then when I did Laguna Beach and um, after I graduated high school I moved up to LA and I was sort of thrust into the entertainment world. You did the acting career and stuff like that. Yeah I did I did for a while Mm -hmm. Um, I started making an inspiration book for my shoe line when I was 18. Oh wow. With the hopes that one day I would have one Okay. and um, and I met with Chinese Laundry and you know I'm so thankful to them for giving me the opportunity because it really is a dream come true and oh, yeah. I just have a ton of fun doing it. I mean they look awesome. I mean Thank if you. I were a girl I would wear them. <laughs> Thank you. But are you gonna make any shoes like men's shoes by chance? I don't know about men's. I mean I've had a lot of questions about that actually. Um, I mean I guess if I did I would have have a lot of great input from Jay. He's a very saying, fashionable yeah. man. I Do have you to have say. like say in like what he wears and what he buys? No, it's funny. When we first started dating, uh-huh. I will say this, his style has come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't a huge fan of how he dressed when we first okay. started dating, but um, he, I, no, now he does everything on his own. I mean, I can give my opinion here and there, yeah. though he's sort of funny. He'll 
for games, they have to dress up. They wear a suit, they have you know? A suit, yeah. And so um, he'll ask which suit I like better, and if I say one is awful or I don't like one, he'll wear that he'll one. Wear the other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, just to, just to, <laughs> in spite of me, he'll wear the one I don't like. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> but, um, which is funny. But no, he really, he does so a great job. That's why you have to do the reverse psychology. Well, now I know this. I'm, I'm learning. And, like, play the tricks yeah. on him. Yeah. So in the future, that's what I'll do. You should also but. say, like, oh, you should wear black socks, and then he'll wear, like, pink socks and be like, wow, you look like a clown. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so if I ever did men's shoes, he would be a great one to uh, oh, bounce yeah. questions off of and, and get some help from. But I would like to do a little girl yeah. uh, shoe collection like, even first. Like little, yeah, absolutely. Like so, kids collection. Have you thought about doing like clothing at all? Yep. Um, maybe. I've had a few offers to do some clothing, different clothing things. I actually did a, a one-time um, deal with junk food to do oh, cool. um, sports apparel. Yeah. And I had a blast doing that. Yeah. But um, I feel like clothes is a lot to take on, you know? It's, it's a, it's huge yeah. because there's so many. There's so many different so things many. you can do. And so yeah. I um, I don't think I have the time right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to focus well, on the shoes, the jewelry, and my babies. I would, I would agree with that statement. There's yeah. not a lot of time for you. I don't have the time yeah. right now. But maybe maybe down the road at some point. But yeah. I'm having a lot of fun doing the accessories You're right You're happy now. with what you're doing. Yes. I mean, you do have a book coming out in I do. Uh, it's March? March 15th. Uh -huh. Yep. It's for, uh, you can order it right now. It's available for pre-sale. And oh, it's a awesome. lifestyle book. So okay. it's sort of like a mini memoir meets like a how-to book, but it's, it's it's not so much like me telling you how to live your life. It's just this is how I live my healthy lifestyle, yeah. sort of my path to um, finding happiness, essentially, as corny as that sounds. Yeah. It, you know, and health and happiness, and um, and it's how I live my life. And if there's some tips that you want to take away, awesome. That's yeah. That's so, all. That's what it's for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's called balancing in heels. Balancing in heels. Very cool. Yeah, and it's the first time I've really let people in, so I'm really I'm scared, but I'm also really yeah. excited. Yeah. Um, people will really get to see who I am because. Person. Yeah, I mean, people. I mean, you portrayed it one way. Yeah. But it's. I mean, it's totally like, different. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in, like with that's the thing I like about Instagram nowadays is that it kind of gives people an insight to yeah. their actual life. Granted, yes, a lot of the photos are like staged and stuff like that. Right. But it's still it's you're being vulnerable you're, you're being in your authentic. house, in yeah. your bathroom, in like you know shopping with your kids like that exactly and you're posting what you want to post exactly you I think MTV is probably very happy that it didn't exist when we were on Laguna oh Beach because people yeah. would have been like wait a minute wait, <laughs> they're not adding not up <laughs> <laughs> this isn't real yeah Twitter and all that other stuff like no. yeah. yeah 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 so I'm very I'm very happy for social media so people can see who I really exactly. am exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome and then for the social media too again um, if you want to ask Kristen a question you can do so by hashtagging ask Kristen um, and we'll get to all the, as many questions as we can today um, let's ask another one from um, F.A. Bauer Socks. Uh, will your book feature your fashion style? Good question. Yes, mm -hmm. there's going to be a whole section on fashion. Okay. Um, yeah, and just basically, you know, what I wear, key pieces that I think every woman should have, um, what to splurge on, what to save on, all of that kind of fun stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Any tips or tricks for men? No. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> That's, that's another one. Um, <clears throat> at Shoddy10, uh, what's your favorite color to wear? Black. I mean, yes, obviously. hands yeah. down. Jay calls me gothic. I don't care. No, it's just, <laughs> it, but it works. It's chic. You can yeah. wear it anytime, any day, anywhere. <laughs> exactly. And, and it's slimming. If, yes. Even if it's like a black t-shirt and black jeans and a black boot. Absolutely. It's super casual, but yet you can dress it up. Exactly. And then throw a hat on with it. Yeah. I mean, you're, yeah, you're good to go. It's a, it's a piece of cake. Ugh. If you're like, oh, black is so dark, you're like, yeah, but you look good Yeah, but you it. look good. Black and white. Black and white. And gray. Yeah. I mean, I'm a very gray, neutral, yes. mm -hmm. neutral girl. But yeah, black, white, and gray can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Can't yeah. go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Another question from uh, Newcastle Me. Out of all your amazing shoes thus far, which pair would you consider saving for your baby girl to wear one day? Oh, that's a cute question. Um, well, I mean, I'm hoping to save my entire collection for yes. my little girl, of course. Hopefully you have the same shoe size. <laughs> that's, that's, right, that's yes, a good point. I have, the same, I have the same size as my mom, so oh, if that's so any indication, could, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but. You know, but like a special shoe that I would really want to hold on for her is maybe my wedding shoe. Oh, you know, that's um, cute. and that's I designed sweet. it. And oh, did you really? Yeah, I did. Oh, I did. Wow. It's called the love shoe. Very Ooh. appropriate. Um, what does it look like? It's very simple. It's mm -hmm. just uh, ivory with a little silver band, an open toe, just very uh, simple heel. Pretty. 
Um, that's the one day I think that your dress really should do the talking and the yes. shoes should sort just of. Just compliment and exactly. just be comfortable too. It, yeah. You're standing all day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, saying hello, thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will say they were comfortable. Oh, there um, you go. Yeah, they were. But so, you know, th those I'll definitely hold on. That's a great idea because like when you're getting married, you do like the something new, something old, something blue. Blue. And that could be for something old. Or yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's true. It could be. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. That's a good idea. Good yeah. idea. Way to be original. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let's do another question. So at SM Corky, what's the new fall? What's the new trend for fall? Sorry. I'd say the hottest trend for fall is fringe. Yeah. I think which we kind of mentioned earlier. Um, it's everywhere. So, you know, 70s. The the, the whole 70s vibe oh, yeah, is 70s very big. Glam, yeah. which I love. Oh, oh, it's so cool. I wish I grew up in that time period. See, I was totally more 90s. Really? Like, I wish I'd do like the 90s. Oh. I love the 90s. Oh, I'm like 70, like 60s, 70s. Yeah, like for absolutely. I like agree. Woodstock. I would have been all about it. Absolutely. That was early 70s, I think, though, wasn't it? I have no idea. I want to say it was, but I could be wrong. I want to say that. maybe like late 60s, but it could. Yeah, I, in that I don't know. Okay. Well, I want to. Oh. I want to Google it yes. now and figure it out. But <laughs> we'll let you know maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get back to you on that. But um, but yeah, I love that whole time period, and so you know, I'm really excited that that's a huge trend this yeah. fall. And the fringe, fringe is an easy way to incorporate that that sort of. Uh, boho 70s 60s vibe without being over the top yeah and i think shoes is a great way to do it because then you can just sort of you know get your little bit in and then keep everything else very simple yeah you can it's all about the shoe and it's yeah. not over where you're wearing fringe on your jacket you wear a fringe purse you yeah wear fringe on your pants <laughs> you don't want to overdo the fringe no. just pick little one thing far, far away yes yeah pick yeah. one thing and then call it a day yeah yeah um <laughs> let's do another one um at madison lou what is your favorite pair of shoes from your collection Hmm. I would. I'm gonna have to go with the charm. Yeah. The charm fringe booty. Um. Just because I love the shape of it. That's such stand a. Stand up and grab it. Yeah. Please do. Such a classic shape. Um. Yeah. And then again, you know, we've talked about fringe pretty much this whole time. But I feel like this it's just one such that a hot. You used to have a style. No. Like so that. that's actually this is another one. This is the Liam booty, okay. which is a take off of my number one seller, the Laurel. Ah. But now it comes in leather, this distressed leather, and it has okay. a zipper on the back to make it easier to get on. Because oh, nice. I know that was sort of even for me, it was a they were kind of hard to get on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but this kind of complements this one, but again, it's just the booty. Just version. the booty. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just think it. I don't know. I just love it. I love it's, everything about it. But it is it. cute because it is. like this, you can wear out shopping to brunch to lunch, but then you can also wear it out. Night, to dinner. dinner, you could dance club, in that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Just do a little Tina Turner with your yeah, heels. Yeah, exactly. Because I can see, you know, I love these fringe boots, but I can see this is a lot of fringe. Uh -huh. You know, you're definitely making a statement when you put these on and you're yeah. walking down the hall. Oh yeah. But um, if you do, if you don't want to be that daring, then the the fringe booty is a great a great happy medium. Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Very cool. No, yeah. it's a beautiful shoe. Thank you. Um, at Pagey Boo. Um, you have I a hard job saying everybody's I names. I feel, I'm sorry <laughs> if I butcher them, guys. I'm not awesome. but uh, <laughs> I work in the casino industry, and I'm on my feet all day, running around like crazy. Which of your pumps do you find most comfortable for those of us who are constantly on the go? This is actually an easy question for me. Uh -huh. um, it's my Copertina heel. It comes in every oh, color yes. under the rainbow. And I swear every woman that I meet who owns that shoe, the first thing they say is how comfortable it is. Really? Yeah. And yeah. I think probably because it's not super high. I mean, it des definitely has some hype to it, but mm. it's not um, It's not one of those huge pumps that you see. Yeah. And so you can get away with wearing it for eight hours or nine hours or whatever it is, and yeah. your feet won't hate you afterwards. And again, like you said you have a whole bunch of colors, so yes. you can... You buy can. it six different ways and exactly. wear it all the way around. Exactly. You know, awesome. Yeah. And you're on the go all the time, I so am. even more relatable so that you're not <laughs> telling that like a false. Exactly. <laughs> I can wear it all day and be totally fine. Yeah. Um, at Danny <laughs> Fanara, uh, sorry, uh, what's a good boot that you can wear for a casual look but also uh, can play dress up? I would say the boot right here, um, just because it's very simple. And over the knee. Yeah, it's over the knee. So again, a huge trend for fall, over the knee boots, fall and winter, I should say. Yeah. Um, but it's simple enough that you can wear it during the day, Absolutely. and it's also sexy enough that you yes. can wear it at night. Yeah, you can even like what you're hearing now. You can do a short shift dress. Absolutely. Pair it up, and it's cute for day and night. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or you know, for the fall and the winter, leggings and even just a big oversized sweater is great. Oh yeah. Um, and then you know, at night you could take off the sweater where I have a cute little cami on underneath and maybe throw Ooh. on a blazer or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's super easy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, at Sarah Bangas, 
Uh, what's a pair of shoe you could not imagine uh, your life without? Booties. Booties. Yeah, wow. I just think that you could, they're so chic. I mean, you can have such a simple outfit, jeans, a tank top, and you could throw on a pair of booties and a hat, and then mm -hmm. you instantly look stylish. Oh, yeah. And so it's just really easy. Yeah. Um, you can wear them with dresses. I mean, you can literally wear them with anything. Yeah. And um, I just, I feel like they're very sexy. Like, I put a booty on, and then I instantly feel, 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 feel great. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you can also... Booties are, in a sense, timeless in a sense, because yeah. they're going to be around for forever. Exactly. Like, maybe not the fringe. Yes. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we won't be wearing toe, fringe in 20 years. But style but booty will always be there, whether it's a wedge, a yep. striped heel, or like a heel. Exactly. Like, booties we'll are not going anywhere, yeah. which That's I'm very happy about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have a booty option, but boots <laughs> but I enjoy. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, at K.O. Box, that's not That's a it tough is. one. Yeah. K-A-E-B-X-O. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, are there any sentimental, old, or embarrassing items that you just can't part ways with, uh, even though you possibly should? No, because I'm the opposite of a hoarder. I love going through my closet and just uh, getting rid of everything. Oh, the opposite of me. Oh, I hoard You it, do? But I'm not like a hoarder hoarder. But you have a hard time letting go I of have, things? Yeah, and it has like oh. no sentimental value, but I'm like, uh, I want to use it or wear it one day, and I never do. Oh, even stuff that could have sentimental value. I'm uh -huh. like, nah, tossing it, uh -huh. getting rid of it. Like I <laughs> love like everything from my closet to the refrigerator. Like I love oh, yeah. going through the refrigerator and getting rid of crap. Oh, like yeah. old, I'm like checking labels on everything. I'm like, oh God, what is this doing in here? <laughs> Why stuff? is this still in here? Why haven't we eaten <laughs> yeah. it? Um, and the worst. Yeah. I mean, but I love it. I love it. Uh, it's it actually makes me uncomfortable like, getting <laughs> really? rid of stuff. Yeah. Like I used to collect like all my like GQ magazines and things like that. Yeah. And when I moved from uh, Louisville, Kentucky to Vegas, I was like, I don't have room for these suitcases full of magazines. So, so I, you couldn't even get rid of your magazines? No, but I had to throw them away and I literally took me, took so much oh. out of me. I was like, this is <laughs> awful. Oh, I'll come over. Awful. I'll go through everything for you. I just you. don't want to know. I just don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do it. I'll eat something. Just do it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh no, God, no. I love it. Like that's something that I would do if I wasn't doing what I do. Like I could go and organize people's houses oh, yeah. and their closets and get rid of all the clutter. I would love to do that. Uh, no. If you paid me to do that, I mean, uh, oh my yeah, God. If you paid me, I can absolutely tell you. No, but like this. that would, like <laughs> I would do it for free. Oh. And then if it was my job, like that would just be heaven. <laughs> <You'd> be <very laughs> I could make money on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do uh, Miss Menriquez. Uh, when you pick a pair of shoes, do you go for the comfy ones or do you or the pretty ones and painful? That was both. a question, but close enough. <laughs> you get <so>. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, both. It depends on what I'm doing. I mean, if I'm with the kids and I'm just going to the grocery store or doing whatever, going to a park, I'm going to go for comfort. Oh, yeah. But if I'm going to be out with my girlfriends or being photographed or anything, 100% if they're painful, but they look good, I don't care. I yeah. will suffer through it. You, yeah. You kind of have to pick. You kind of have, have to take the storm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, do you want to look comfortable? Do you want to be comfortable? Or do you want to look... Great. Granted, you do still have shoes that meet both those criteria for most part. Yes. But there are some shoes that are just so. Like I remember back in the day, I had a pair of Louboutins that um, these little gold Louboutins. They oh god, they killed my feet so badly. But I <laughs> wore them out all the time, all the time. All the time. Yeah, and yeah. my feet. And the next day, my feet would just kill me. Yeah. But it was worth it. <laughs> now, do you have any? Because I know um, when I wear like loafers and mm -hmm. then the, the low cut, and you aren't supposed to wear socks with them, but it hurts and it gives you blisters. I do like the no show socks. Yeah, like, okay. So with it. Are there any like tricks for you that you use? Like, they for do make little, um, I guess they're heel, they're called heel socks, I guess. But yeah, they're, really? it's like just a little piece of pantyhose essentially oh, that you yeah. can just like wrap on your foot. Um, I have worn them. However, I don't typically. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I didn't know. Cause I, I mean, I don't wear heels. Clearly. You don't? No, I don't. I should buy a pair though. Maybe you one should. of yours. Yeah, you should. You size like a size twelve. Uh, I think we go up to eleven. Ooh, I, I can know. Use, I can be. I can be in pain though. So there you go. See, worth it's it. worth it. It's worth totally it. worth it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so at K W Coons, what shoe do you feel you get the most wear for your money? Um, if I bought one pair, what would it be? That's a good question. I'm gonna go with. Um, my so my Laurel booty, uh -huh. which is now the Liam, which, is, yeah, which okay. has the zipper, um, but Laurel is still available. That's my number one seller. But the Laurel, yeah, the Laurel. Mm -hmm. This booty is great because it's versatile. You can wear it 
pretty much with anything you can dress it up or down. Oh, absolutely. It's really comfortable. This is the one, this is the new one. This is the new zipper. version of it, yeah, yeah. So it has a zipper and it also comes in this distressed leather, which no, I love. Which is really nice because that's kind of a trend now too. Like it super is. Super distressed, faded. Exactly. Um, aged, lived in. Exactly. Yeah. And before really the shoe. laurel is all suede, which is beautiful as well. And it's lightweight. Exactly. Which is nice. Because exactly. usually when you find boots, you get a really heavy heel. This is super lightweight, which is. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I've worn this traveling actually before on the plane, and oh, really? yeah, and I was fine. My feet didn't hurt at all, and oh, so awesome. that's like a good test for me, is yes. if I can wear and it with the traveling. zipper, it's easy on and off. Exactly, that security. was the only thing through security. You're like, oh, I'm uh, trying to pull this thing off. on. Yeah. But like, to be honest with you, like, I don't want to go in sandals to the airport. Like flip flops. Yeah, because <laughs> that's. I'm stepping on like dirty ground, so I'm gonna wear some type of shoe that I will sh somewhat struggle with, or that you have a sock with because taking yes. off your shoes so and then barefoot walking, yeah, not so not, not so great. I mean, I've done it in my Burks. <laughs> I'm not. I'm Unless whatever. you have TSA pre-check now, you can leave your shoes on. Yes, you can, which I don't have, but I'm. You should get I'm it. It's well there. worth it. I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's do the last question here. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, at uh, Claire M. Petri. Living in Chicago, what's your go-to shoes for all the snow and cold weather? Well, they're not glamorous, no. but my Sorrells, my Sorrell boots. Which are super trendy. <laughs> they actually are. I mean, it's, I love them. I yeah. think they're great. And you know, they have the little fur and the you fur, can make they them lace cute. All the way up. Yeah, yeah, you can make absolutely. them cute. And then I mentioned earlier, I have the Hunter rain boots too. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, Those and are I, great weather. If you yeah. really like the fleece sock, like you said. Exactly. You can make it into a spring summer cute. shoe to a fall winter shoe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I mean, I wear those all the time. They're practical and I think that they're actually they're pretty actually, cute. They're cute too, yeah. they're not like these huge Huge boxy shoes. Yeah, I know exactly the ones you're talking about yeah. because everybody, like you said, like she said, in Chicago and in New York and in those cold weather cities, I see them everywhere. I mean, you have to have those. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what you would do. You're your not shoes walk would be ruined. Like, booties or heels. You're no. gonna go in and out from the building and then slip on the shoe that you wore at the office. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you. It was awesome getting to know you. Um, and again, she is. She has a book coming out in yes. March of 2016. Yeah. Balancing in heels. In heels. In heels. <laughs> um, so definitely get your copy. You can pre-order it now. And also, you guys can come to Zappos.com and order any of her shoes from yeah. her previous collections or her current collection. Um, and also, you can come to Zappos.com and uh, keyword search Kristen Cavallari. You can do fashion trends and find all your latest and greatest fashion trips. Um, tips, not trips. <laughs> but trips? Uh, yeah. Where are we going? Yeah, we're giving away <laughs> random stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you again for joining thank us. Thank you it for was, having uh, me. It was nice meeting you. You too. Um, and good luck with your third. Thank you. Yeah, it should be exciting. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, any last words of advice for anybody out there? Oh, God. I know. <laughs> it's a very broad That's question. A broad question. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's too much pressure. <laughs> no? All right, well, thank you again. It was thank good you. Having you. Thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs>